In this video, we're going to approximate the value of the integral of 1 over e to the x plus 1, integrated between minus 2 and 2, using the mid-ordinate rule, using four strips, or five ordinates. Okay, these two things mean the same. So you'll always have one more ordinate than strip, okay, just like it is with the trapezium rule. So, what I want to do is I want to work out, firstly, the width of each strip. So, h is the width of the strip, which will be 2, take away minus 2, divided by the number of strips. Okay, so each strip is of length 1. Okay, so I'm go then going to build up a table of values to use. So I'm going to have x values and y values. And I know that it starts at minus 2, OK? But that's not my first x-ordinate. Now, remember, we're using the mid-ordinates here. So they're going up in 1s, each of the strips of length 1. So you want the midpoint of that. So you, that's a half. So the first one starts at minus 2 plus a half, which is minus 3 halves. OK? So think of it. If you want to draw a little diagram, you can. So minus 2 to minus 1, this is going to be the first strip, but the mid-ordinate will be at minus 3 halves. So that's the first value I want to put in. From then on, as I bunny hop my way along, I just need to add 1 to each of these. So I should get minus a half, 1 half, and then 3 halves. And they will be the four midpoints that I need for my four strips. OK, so then I need to substitute each of these x values into my y. So that will be 1 over e to the minus 3 halves plus 1. Then 1 over e to the minus 1 half plus 1. Then we're going to have 1 over e to the half plus 1. And then 1 over e to the 3 halves plus 1. Now, if you want to put in decimalised values here and evaluate each of these, you can. I would use um, a good number of significant figures. Okay, So don't round them too early. Um, you want to use... Uh, a good set of uh, significant figures there so that when you combine them, then you round right at the end, OK? So, I, you know, to be safe, if I was doing this in the exam and I wanted to go down that route, I would be um, probably using the full calculator display, OK? <laughs> I, know, I know I don't need to do that, but um, I think if I was in the exam doing this, I'd, I'd want to make sure, OK? So... Um, I'm just going to put them in in exact values, OK, uh, into the formula. So this is going to be approximately equal to the width of the strip, 1, times by the sum of each of those four. Okay. Now, don't forget, you could use the table function on your calculator. So I'm just using the Casio ClassWiz. Uh, your other calculators should have this feature as well. So menu 9 to get to the table. And then I'm going to type in 1 over e to the x. Oh, whoops. e to the x plus 1. I don't need a g of x. I'm going to start at minus 3 halves. And I'm going to end at 3 halves, and I want to go up in steps length of 1. OK, so I should get 0.81757447762. That's that one. Then 0.6224593312. That's that one. Then 
That's that one. Just rewrite my eight. And then 0.182425529. So let's add all of these together. So 0.8175744762 plus 0.6224593312 plus 0.377540668 plus 0.18242552538. And my calculator gives that as equal to 2. Now, I find it unlikely that it's going to be exactly 2, because we're just estimating the curve here. So I'm going to write it as 2.00 to 3 significant figures. OK? So then I would want to check that this is actually giving me something close to that. So, using the integral button, 1 over uh, e to the x plus 1, evaluated between minus 2 and 2. My calculator says that's equal to 2. Okay, so um, when I got here, okay, when I got to this point, um, I'm using the full calculator display, my calculator might be unable to identify it as anything other than 2 at this point. Um, so you might have rounded it like uh, up to 5 significant figures, for example, to round to 3, uh, or 4 significant figures to round to 3. Um, you might have done that. Uh, you might get something slightly different to being exactly 2. but. If I've done it this way, I've used full calculus, but there's nothing wrong with what I've done. Um, and I'm clearly getting a very good approximation to the exact area.